Hello, this is Dr. Ben Finio. I am joined today by my colleagues, Abby, Elmo, and Mr. Moose. And in this video, I'll be talking about Zoom's side-by-side -side mode. This is something I've gotten a lot of questions about in comments on my other videos on Zoom, so I thought it was worth making a separate video to address them. Specifically, I've gotten a lot of questions about whether you can do side-by-side -side mode for two presenters at a time, as opposed to one presenter and shared content like PowerPoint slides. I'll get to that in a second, but let's first talk about how side-by-side -side mode is typically used. Now, by default, side-by-side -side mode is a view option you have when somebody else is sharing their screen. For example, right now, Elmo is sharing a PowerPoint file, and in side-by-side -side mode, I am given a slider in the middle of the screen that I can drag left and right to resize the content. So I can make the shared slide much bigger, or I can make that smaller and make my gallery view over here on the right much bigger. I also have the option to toggle between gallery view and speaker view. So I can click the speaker view button here and now I will just have a single large image of the speaker. In this case, I have my own video spotlighted, but for example, if Elmo was the speaker and I just wanted to see him, I could switch back to gallery view and then either pin Elmo's video if I'm a participant or if I'm a host and I want to spotlight his video for everyone, I could spotlight and then any individual participant in side-by-side -side mode can still drag back and forth to resize these. You can also cancel side-by-side -side view completely by going up to view options and unchecking side-by-side -side mode. That will bring us to this view where the shared content is large in the middle of the screen and you see the participants in thumbnails across the top. If Elmo stops sharing his screen at any time, then that option to uncheck side-by-side -side mode will disappear. So this is only available when somebody else is sharing their screen. However, as I mentioned, I have gotten a lot of questions asking, what if nobody is sharing their screen, but I still want to do side-by-side -side mode with two different video participants? Now, you can't do that using Zoom's built-in side-by-side -side mode as intended, but there is a workaround you can use to achieve a very similar result, and that's what I'm going to show you next. Now, let's say that Elmo has stopped sharing his screen, but I still want to get a side-by-side -side view of just me and Elmo without seeing Abby and Mr. Moose. Now, remember, since Elmo has stopped sharing his screen, that option for side-by-side -side mode has disappeared. If I move my mouse to the top of the screen, I no longer have that little drop-down menu and I can toggle between gallery view and speaker view, but that's either going to show me everyone equal sized or it's going to show me a single large speaker. There's no easy way here to somehow just get two participants in side-by-side -side mode. The workaround for doing that is to first mute or stop the video from the participants you don't want to see. If you are the host, you can do this yourself by right-clicking them and selecting stop video or you can ask your participants to mute their video themselves. So if there are only a few participants, this isn't a big deal to do yourself, but if you are teaching a large class with dozens or even hundreds of students, it would take you forever to go through and right click and mute all of them. So you would need to ask your students to do that on their own. So in this case, I am going to mute both Abby and Mr. Moose by stopping their video. And the next step is to hide non-video participants. Now you have to be a little careful because depending on where you click, this option might not appear. So if I right click on Mr. Moose, you see I have a hide non-video participants option there. I also get that same option if I click the three dots in the top right of his thumbnail and there's hide non-video participants. But you notice I do not get that if I right click anywhere else in the window or if I right click on one of the participants with video. So there is no hide non-video participants option there. So I'm going to select either Mr. Moose or Abby, click hide non-video participants. That is going to hide their thumbnails completely. You see I am still not in what would be considered a side-by-side -side view here. That's because I'm still in speaker view. But if I go back to gallery view, now I have something that looks a lot like side-by-side -side mode. This is gallery view with just two people because I have all of the other participants hidden. If I want to get them back, there is now a button at the top here that says total non-video participants. I can click on that and go to show non-video participants and that will bring them back. So again, this is not actually using side-by-side -side mode. Nobody is sharing their screen. There is no checkbox to enable or disable side-by-side -side view. But by hiding non-video participants and making sure you only have two videos enabled, then gallery view will give you something equivalent where you have just two videos side by side. 
Now, the major downside to this is that every participant would need to do this individually to get this view. So I have done this on my computer as a participant, but Abby, Elmo, and Mr. Moose do not necessarily have the same view. So I have not forced this side-by-side -side mode on all the other meeting participants. They still will individually have the option to toggle between gallery view and speaker view and mute non-video participants. So if you want to do this for yourself, or this is what you want to appear in your recording of the video, then this will be sufficient. But for example, if you want all of your students to see just two presenters and not see each other, then you would need to walk them through doing this themselves. You can't currently force them to do it. So as always, I hope this was helpful, especially if you are teaching online with short notice due to the COVID-19 pandemic. If you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion, or a request for another tutorial, please leave a comment below the video. Thank you.